Hello guys, today we look at comparative adjectives. I have already made a video about adjectives. Uh, so I said that an adjective is a word that describes a noun. In this video I will explain how to use adjectives when we want to compare between two things, when we want to establish the difference uh, between two people and two places. So, as you can see here, I want to compare between the cat and the dog using the adjective cute. I would say the cat is cuter than the dog. On your right, I want to compare between Sarah and Kate using the adjective beautiful. I would say Sarah is more beautiful than Kate. So, in the first example, uh, cute is a short adjective. So I add an R, okay, because I already have an E for Q, so you just add an ER. But for short adjectives, for short adjectives, you add an ER and then, okay, that's quite important. And a beautiful is a long adjective because you have here beautiful, it's three syllables. So you add more before the adjective. Uh, I will go into more details in the second part. So here we have four categories of comparative, uh, for comparative adjectives. The first one is one syllable adjectives, for example, old. So when we want to form the comparative form, we add an ER, older. Wise, we just add an R like my first example, cute, big, uh, bigger, uh, so please, your attention here, because we have, if you have the adjectives, the adjective which consists of consonant, vowel, consonant, you double the last consonant, big, bigger, uh, hot, hotter, uh, fat, fatter. Uh, next is two syllables, and in Y, for example, silly, so if you want to inflect this, we say sillier, we drop, we drop the Y and we add an I, E, R. A noisy, a noisier, a happy, happier. Three or more syllables. Uh, so here we add more before them. For example, popular is a three syllable, popular, yes. More popular, attractive, more attractive, expensive, more expensive. Uh, however, there are some irregular adjectives, that is, adjectives which change completely. For example, good, uh, we cannot say gooder or more good, but we say better, little less, many more. Of course, there are uh, many exceptions to these rules. Uh, for example, the adjective fun. Fun is one syllable, but we do not say funner, we say more fun. Okay? It's more fun, although it's just one syllable. And in this category, we have so many adjectives which have two syllables, but you could say, you could add either er or more. For example, uh, clever, you could say cleverer or more clever. I know sometimes it's confusing, but uh, that's just what grammar is. So I hope this grammatical construction has been useful. Thank you for watching and see you all soon.